Statistics South Africa data shows that the unemployment rate decreased by one percentage point from 33.9% in the second quarter to 32.9% in the third quarter of this year. The quarterly labor force survey shows that 204,000 jobs were gained, taking the total number of persons employed to 15.8 million. The largest gains came from the manufacturing, trade, construction and transport sectors. Analysts, however, warn that despite the marginal improvement in joblessness, the lack of economic growth continues to weigh down on unemployment. They say rolling blackouts are another contributing factor which limit the potential for small and medium enterprises to employ more people. And of course, uh, let's give you a little bit more on the stats and what they're looking like. Francis is standing by. Francis, how bad are things looking? So, Bongiwe, there's good and bad. I mean, the unemployment rate now at 32.9%. The good news is that this is the lowest jobless rate since the first quarter of last year, and it is, in fact, better than predictions. 204,000 more people had jobs in the third quarter of this year compared to the second quarter. The bad news is that this is the stark reality. 7.7 .7 million South Africans are unemployed out of a population of around 40 million uh, working age uh, South Africans and a population of around 60 million overall. Now this is 7.725 million people who want a job but cannot find one. The picture is even worse if you consider people who have simply given up looking for work. There are three and a half million discouraged work seekers. So if you included them, uh, this figure uh, soars to above 11 million South Africans. Now let's look at the overall trend here and uh, the unemployment rate now at 32.9 percent so you can see that that is down from 33.9 percent in the second quarter of the year the worst unemployment was in fact seen at the end of last year but since then we've seen three consecutive quarterly declines so unemployment is coming down but not at the rate that we are hoping for and as I was telling Bongiwe earlier if you look at the end NDP that was written in 2012 or thereabouts, the target was 14%, but here we are at around 33% many years later. And interestingly enough, if you are wondering what that little dip there is in unemployment, is uh, COVID-19. Many people gave up looking for work. They knew they couldn't get a job. So that made the unemployment figure look better because they were not considered unemployed by the official definition. Uh, so that was really an anomaly. Uh, it does not reflect the reality on the ground. And there we are at the end at 32.9%. Now, if we look at a breakdown by sectors, manufacturing created the most jobs, 123,000 to be exact. That is encouraging. Trade, construction and transport all creating jobs, but jobs were lost, as you can see there in finance and private households. All right, so, uh, let's discuss these figures. We're joined uh, by the head of Statistics South Africa. That's our statistician general, Risenga Maloleke. Mr. Maloleke, thank you for, for being with us. We can't celebrate an unemployment rate that's still around 33%, uh, but at least more than 200,000 jobs were, were created here. Is that something? Francis, let me mention that for us as statisticians in official practice, we give good and bad news. So we never celebrate any number. Any number for us, uh, no matter how much the country emotionally gets attached to it, is a number. Uh, we know, of course, that those numbers, behind those numbers, uh, this human life and human life has equal worth. But let's get straight to the point. The whole issue about employment and unemployment in the country is that coming out of the first quarter to the second quarter, we have seen employment increasing. Uh, our employment from the first quarter to the second quarter increased by 648,000. That is more than half a million. And uh, again, from the second quarter to the third quarter, we have seen employment increasing by 204,000 uh, jobs. So in this regard, it returns an, uh, 
the number of those that are employed uh, to 15.8 million. Still less than where we were during uh, uh, COVID-19. We were way above 16 million of people employed. I mean, before COVID-19, my apologies. Now, as regards unemployment, our unemployment decreased by 132,000 uh, 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 between the first and the second quarter. Uh, coming out of the second quarter as of now, it has decreased by 269,000 people. And that has lowered from uh, where we were in the second quarter, 8 million people unemployed. Now we are sitting at 7.7 .7 million unemployed uh, people. So uh, the fact that unemployment has decreased in absolute numbers and employment has increased, that lowers our unemployment rate by one percentage point from where we were. And let me sketch, in the first quarter, we were sitting at 35.4% as the headline unemployment rate. In the second quarter, we were sitting at 33.9%. We are now sitting at 32.9%. So unemployment is decreasing. Uh, yes, those 7.7 .7 million people are the people when, uh, who uh, said when we went to interview them, uh, we asked them, have you been looking for employment in the last week or even more? They said, yes, these are people who are actively looking for employment. So that is uh, the official unemployment rate. But when we bring in the discouraged work seekers, so the 7.7 7 million plus the 3.5 million discouraged work seekers, as well as another 700,000 who uh, didn't look for employment for other reasons other than discouragement, but who would have taken up employment had it been available. Uh, those people come to 11.9 million. That is the expanded definition of employment, and that comes to 43.1% as our unemployment rate. And many believe that that is the, the real picture. Those are people, like you say, who, who would want a job, uh, but some of them just simply have given up looking. Uh, there, there were some predictions that the unemployment data uh, may look better, but that's only because companies were preparing for the festive season. Is, is there any way for stats, so say, to gauge if these are real jobs that are sustainable or if some of them were temporary, if, if the companies, the manufacturing companies, say, were expecting a bumper season? The fact is that uh, this uh, quarterly employment survey is not measured from the factory side. Uh, it is unlike our quarterly employment survey that we measure from uh, the employment side. But to be specific is that uh, when you look at manufacturing, which has actually brought the highest numbers, 123,000 to be exact, it is uh, largely in the uh, uh, metal work, and uh, that is basic metal work, as well as uh, in food and beverages, in wood and wood products, as well as in transport equipment, which do not need much energy. And, and there's been a question that in the third quarter, we have seen power outages in the form of challenges of electricity. These areas, which were largely in the formal sector, do not uh, depend on much electricity like in mining. If you look at mining, we have lost about a thousand jobs. Uh, 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 and that is largely due to power outages that we, we are seeing. So certainly, uh, 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 let me say, uh, manufacturing has created more in, uh, employment. So is trade. Trade has brought about uh, 82,000 jobs. And as you can see, the festive season hasn't uh, fully kicked in in the quarter that we are measuring. We are talking about uh, the months of July, August, September. The festive season is actually the one we'll report on early in the year, uh, which started in October, November, December. All right, let's look at, uh, we didn't give a, a demographic breakdown, but co of course that is something that you look at. And we've often uh, discussed before how the face of unemployment in South Africa seems to be a black woman. Uh, education, also letting people down. Uh, they are going to do matric, they, many may study for years, still without hopes of getting a job. Just tell us about the trends when you dig deeper and look at demographics and things like education. Uh, let us start with uh, education, Francis. 
Uh, one of the things that uh, we have seen, even uh, outside employment, when we look at the drivers of poverty in our country, it is the lack of education and unemployment. The two of them account for about 63%. So when people are educated or trained or they have education, they are able to easily find employment and they can, they can go out of poverty. Having said so, we are seeing that the unemployment rate of graduates is sitting at 10.7%. And that 10.7% is way above the national unemployment rate of uh, uh, 32.9. It's actually 22.2 percentage points higher, I mean lower, sorry, lower than the national unemployment rate. So it means that uh, when people are educated, they are able to get employment. Uh, other tertiary, their unemployment rate is 22%, which is still lower than the uh, national unemployment rate of 32.9%. Now, those with metric or less, their unemployment rate is higher than the national unemployment rate. So education, education, training, training. Yeah. Having said so, young people, 15 to uh, 24 years, are vulnerable to labor markets. 3.5 million of those are not in employment, education, and training, or training. Now, in, as regards population groups, uh, the black Africans in general are vulnerable to labor markets, but particularly black African women, they are much more vulnerable to labor markets. Uh, and they are the only ones that are far higher than the national average. Uh, generally, blacks, black Africans are higher than the national average. The colors, Indian, Asian, and whites are, are lower than the national unemployment rate. So, finally, many cite the, the red tape. We've been talking as a country about cutting red tape for a long time. The structural issues, we've discussed education, that's a huge one. What about labor laws? Uh, those who don't like them in South Africa say it makes it too hard to hire and fire workers, especially for small companies. Any comment? Uh, Francis, you are asking me to comment like my Sangoma and Shavuya Lingana who cannot comment further than certain things. Uh, the issue here, Francis, is that uh, labor laws are a policy matter. And I will leave that to policy commentators and policy makers because as a statistician general, my hands are tied from commenting about uh, policy matters. But what I can say is that there is structural unemployment in our country in that the kind of skills that we produce do not match the demand for employment. That is why you find sometimes employment gets advertised again and again, especially in areas where mass uptake could occur. Uh, and of course, uh, the sitters are doing sufficiently enough in terms of uh, uh, creating skills. But I don't think they are catching up with the demand because there are more entrants that do not have skills. And uh, when jobs are available, some of them are not able to take uh, the jobs because of that mismatch. All right, statistician, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much, uh, Rasinga Maluleke, the statistician general of South Africa, just really unpacking those numbers. The fact is more people are in jobs. Uh, that's something that we can celebrate, perhaps, uh, but still unemployment uh, just soaring in South Africa, creating social instability, many risks for the future, and uh, very sad for the young people uh, who are looking for a job and hoping for a bright future.